Today is National Sunscreen Day, also known as Don't Friday, declared by the National Council on Skin Care Prevention. It falls each year on the Friday before Memorial Day to encourage sun safety awareness, which we know is so important. Dr. Heidi Cook, owner and medical director of the Spot Westland, joins us today with some of the incredible products there. Thank you so much yes. for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know you always stress the importance of wearing sunscreen every day. Yes. Why is that so important? You know, and I think it's, I think by now it's common knowledge that we should all wear sunscreen, but common knowledge doesn't always equal common practice. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. So, we all do it. <laughs> yes. And so, you know, wearing sunscreen every day, rain or shine, whether you're out or inside, is always important. And I think, you know, there is one in five people that develop some sort of skin cancer by mm. the age of 70. Mm. So 20% of people who make it to 70 are going to have some skin cancer. Um, the other interesting statistic is if you have uh, five blistering sunburns by the age of 20, you have an 80% higher risk of having melanoma. Oh. So, and I know after spring break, um, a lot of my kids' friends, I saw lots of pictures of, you know, sunburns with little blisters. And so it's those types of um, sunburns that really build up and increase your risk of skin cancer. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had those as a child yeah. just because it wasn't quite as stressed back right. then, I don't right. feel like. Um, okay, well, what do we need to look at labels that can also be kind of confusing? It can be. So there's basically two categories of sunscreen. You have physical sunscreen and um, chemical. So physical is also known as mineral. Um, what those are is it basically, when you put it on, builds a layer on top of the skin that actually reflects all of the UV rays. Okay. And so it is one that is really good for um, people who have rosacea, who have melasma, because you don't absorb any of the heat. Mm. It just is all reflected. So those are great sunscreens they're a little thicker and they can give you a little bit of that white cast and so mm. that's why some people um, don't tend towards them quite as much but for specific skin conditions they are very good okay yeah and then the other one is your chemical um, sunscreens what they do is they absorb into the skin a little bit and then um, and then they actually absorb the UV light before oh. it can damage your skin. Interesting. So both kinds, mineral and or mineral, which is your physical and chemical, should be applied 15 to 30 minutes prior to going outside, so they can kind of get themselves all set up, per se, so they can do their job. That's another key that I don't think always happens. <laughs> right. You know, I think it's um, they don't put it on fast enough or previous to going outside and then the other people never use enough yeah so if you are covering your entire body you're supposed to use one ounce which is an eighth of a cup oh yeah to cover your whole body when you go outside and I don't think there's really there very many people who do that and then reapply and then reapply <laughs> yes every, at least every two hours if you're constantly in the sun or when you get out of the water, you need to reapply. Now, this basket is adorable. You guys always yeah. have the cutest baskets. <laughs> Tell us about some of the products here that can yeah. help us. Yeah, so lots of our girls, um, the estheticians um, at the spa, love the uh, revisions sunscreen. Mm. So these have some moisturizers, some anti-aging products in it. My personal favorite is um, the Skin Medica Total Defense and Repair. Okay. I like this. It has three different antioxidants in it. So oh. in addition to your sunscreen protection, you also get some protection from antioxidants. Oh. And I also threw in this basket of vitamin C, which is in the front, which is not a sunscreen. It does not provide any sunscreen protection, but it works additive with your sunscreen. Any rays that happen to get in, that vitamin C is going to protect the DNA that causes all the issues. So you need that so in addition to sunscreen. You know, if, if you want to go all out, you want your vitamin C and a sunscreen. Dr. Heidi, thank you so yeah. much for being here on this day. It's so important, and we love having Hello Beautiful on Friday. I know. It's an interesting <laughs> one. Yes, thanks again. And you can set up your appointment at the Spot West Glen by calling 515-316-2801. Or go online to SpaWestGlen.com. You can find so many helpful beauty tips and tricks along with their products. Uh, you can also follow the Spa at West Glen on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.